what we have seen uh, over the last you know recent months you know shutter activity even though it is occurring it is much more less than before the logging we have not really seen a lot of prominently um, uh, uh, a set of activities related to illegal logging so the poaching is still occurring however i think on this particular time of the year the poaching or the pet trade for scarlet macaws is high uh, so it's one of those things where throughout the year there are marked sort of activities you know just last week um, our rangers were extremely busy in trying to detain and arrest the poachers for scarlet macaws we were very very extremely close to capturing the guys for the very first time in our in our work in the chicken bowl to try to seize the poachers um, but they still were able to elude us and so they were able to escape but um, but, but there are particular periods of time when you would when when you will find a trade and poaching um, you know we just put um, on on our Facebook for for yesterday um, an adult of a tapir a mountain cow that was shot dead in the area so um, in the question is you know would people actually feed off of such an animal of course not but it basically means that there are people who have who have firearms in the zone and precisely would be going after some of these you know, mammals or animals so um, you know poaching will always be there as long as there's a human footprinting you know along the zone do you believe that tapir was killed by an illegal guatemala we have not really seen any Belizean poachers in the area. Um, we can basically be able to assume, because we did not really see it neither, but from the shells and all of that, um, you know, pretty much it is the human footprint which is occurring there illegally in the zone.